my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. And I know that we normally talk about food on this channel, but today we are actually talking about your bedroom. And I am gonna be sharing some ways that you can make your bedroom a little bit more healthy. Now I know that that word might not make sense in terms of like your bedroom, like how do you actually make your bedroom healthy? And what I really mean is I'm going to be sharing some ways that you can detox your bedroom and remove toxins from the things that you are sleeping on and sleeping in. So I don't know about you, but my favorite room in my house is my bedroom. It's just become this like peaceful oasis and it's where I spend a lot of my time. Of course, just like you, I'm sleeping in my bed every single night and if I'm lucky, I'm getting eight to eight and a half hours of sleep every night, which means I'm sleeping on my bed and I'm spending at least eight hours a day in that room. So when I started to do a little bit of research and I was realizing how many harmful chemicals are used on the products that I have in my bedroom or that most people have in our bedrooms, including mattresses, pillows, sheets, blankets, everything like that, I was pretty shocked. And as I started to do even more research, I was realizing that a lot of these toxins can cause lasting health effects and they can be triggering things like respiratory issues, allergic reactions, as well as like leading to long-term things, even cancer. So I wanted to put together a video and as well as a blog post that kind of talks through the process of detoxing your bedroom. I'm gonna be sharing how I did it. I'll talk about the brands that I'm using in my bedroom right now, and I'll talk about some things that you might wanna look out for. So I thought it would be first helpful to talk about where toxins are potentially hiding in your bedroom. And the fact of the matter is that most traditional bedroom items, so mattresses, most traditional sheets, most traditional duvet covers, um, even pillows, blankets, they are treated with some form of harmful chemical. So the first thing, and I think arguably one of the most important is our mattress. So mattresses are treated, traditional mattresses are treated with really heavy duty chemicals. First and foremost, a lot of them have a polyurethane foam in them, which ends up creating volatile organic compounds, and that can cause major respiratory issues, it can cause wheezing, it can cause coughing, and it's pretty much a standard thing in almost every single mattress that is on the market today. Other things that are included in most mattresses on the market are flame retardants, and flame retardants obviously are there because they don't want the mattress to catch on fire, which I appreciate, but are really, really toxic in terms of the chemicals that they're using to treat the mattress. And then also things like vinyl, latex, and other things that might be used to cover your mattress or used inside of your mattress that again contains harmful chemicals. And the problem with that is that when we're sleeping on something that is treated with these intense chemicals is that they not only seep into the air that we're breathing, so they're kind of off-gassing, I guess you could say, into the air that we're sleeping and breathing in every single night, but it also comes in contact with our skin. And our skin is our largest organ on our body. It's full of pores, which means anything that it touches, it really does soak in. So if you are, I mean, you're not probably lying directly on your mattress, but your skin is absorbing a lot of the chemicals that are that you're potentially sleeping on, which is why I think the mattress is a really great place to start. Another thing to consider are your sheets. And a lot of sheets on the market are made with cotton. Either they're 100% cotton or they're made with a partial blend of cotton. And cotton is actually the highest sprayed plant or crop, I guess you could say, with pesticides. So it uses the most amount of pesticides than any other crop. There's actually even one pesticide that is used on cotton that even just one drop, if it touches the skin of a human, it could potentially kill them. So it, it is incredibly toxic. And the only way to get around that is if you are using sheets that use organic, 100% organic cotton. Because if they are organic, that means that they have to fall within the organic standards, which means they aren't treated with those harmful chemicals. And again, just like the mattresses, the sheets are something that are physically touching your skin. So if you are sleeping on something that does not use organic cotton, then the chemicals and the pesticides that are used on the cotton and also in the whole processing part of the making the sheets touches your skin, seeps into your bloodstream, and is again, no bueno, not something that we want. Another thing to consider are your pillows. So similar to the mattresses, a lot of pillows can contain things like latex, they can contain 
foam, they can contain flame retardants, they can contain perfumes, they can contain things to avoid allergens. And again, it's one of those things that's gonna be right near your face, so you're gonna be directly breathing it in and again, seeping into your skin. So I think that this has been pretty long-winded, but I actually did want to insert some clips of me unwrapping and actually redoing my bedroom. So I hope that the beginning half of this was informational for you. It was really designed to be more of like information, just me sharing my experience. Um, and then I do also have, like I said, the process of me unboxing everything and putting my new bedroom together. So I'm gonna insert those clips and don't forget to, like I said, check out the blog post because I have more photos and I have a lot more info about each of the individual brands and also some of the things to look out for as well as linking to some buying guides that I have found online. So let's dive in to the unboxing part. Okay, so just got back from Walk With Trevi, hence the scarf, and she's gonna come right here. <laughs> Hi babes! Um, and came home to a delivery and the company is Naturepedic and they are an incredible company. They have an entire organic line of sheets, pillows, pillowcases, they have organic mattresses, they have everything that's non-toxic. And the pillows that we got are their organic cotton Kapok pillows. <laughs> they're standard size and they are certified organic and they're 300 thread count. They also have no flame retardant phthalates or pesticides. And then we also got a set of their queen sheets. And this is their organic sheet set. Again, it's 400 thread count, 100% organic. And oh, it feels so soft. I am going to wash these before I put them on my bed, but I will definitely report back and tell you what I think. Hey, you guys, our last package for the detoxing my home finally came. And I can't wait. It's from Avocado Green Mattress. And what we got in these boxes are some pillows. So we're now we're gonna have a ton of non-toxic pillows. So in this tall box is a mattress topper, which is not their full mattress, but you can just cover your regular mattress with their non-toxic mattress topper. And the reason that I wanted to get a mattress topper is number one, we want to get a new bed next time we move. We wanna get a king bed, so I didn't wanna invest in a whole new mattress right now because we currently have a queen. And I also wanted to test out the idea of just having a mattress topper because I think some people that are gonna be watching this video and reading the blog probably aren't going to be able to afford getting a brand new mattress right away. And I think a mattress topper is actually a great in-between option. Mattresses obviously last like forever, so if you're not in the place where you're ready to completely replace your mattress, a mattress topper is a really good idea because it's what's going to be in direct contact with your skin, or at least like most closely. Of course, you're gonna have a sheet over it, but um, you could use a non-toxic mattress topper to just cover your traditional mattress, and A, it's gonna be really comfortable, and B, it's also just gonna be healthier for you. So I am going to show you guys us putting it on, and I'll tell you what we think. Um, hopefully it's gonna be really comfortable. I've heard really good things about their brand, so I'm really excited to try it out. So it's the next morning and I got those packages late yesterday which is why I did not open the mattress pad but I'm going to open the mattress topper right now and I also washed all of my brand new Naturepedic sheets so we're going to put those on top and I'm hoping that we sleep like babies tonight. And as per usual, someone has already made herself comfortable. What do you think of our new mattress cover? Our new mattress pad? Mattress topper? There's also something gross hanging off her lip. <laughs> So before I put the mattress topper on from Avocado, I actually wanna just talk to you quickly about the mattress that we already have. Because the mattress that we have, you guys might remember from, I think it was two years ago, maybe like two and a half years ago. And I shared a video that talked about, um, what was it? I think it was like sleeping habits or tips for better sleep or something like that. And I also redid my bedroom. And when I was doing that, I got a new mattress. And the mattress that I got, 
is from a company called Oso, and um, it is still non-toxic. Um, it's not quite as high quality as the mattresses from Avocado or from Naturepedic, but it's definitely comfortable. It's kind of like a Tempur-Pedic. Um, it's like, you know, you lay like this and it kind of like forms to your body. Um, we like it. We think it's comfortable. I think that when we move and when we get a bigger bed, we're probably going to upgrade to a king size bed. We'll get a higher quality mattress. Um, but if you are on a tighter budget or anything like that, this could be a good option. So I'll make sure to include it down below. Um, still pretty high quality made in the USA. Um, like no toxic late latex or flame retardants or anything like that so it's still a really good option but we personally are probably going to upgrade when we get a bigger bed so here is what the mattress looks like or the mattress topper I don't know why I keep calling it that um, it's probably gonna add about three inches to our bed um, it's really soft, which is amazing, and it's super, this is super soft. I would like to sleep on this, it's so comfortable. Um, so now I'm gonna put on my sheets and then test the bed out for you guys. What do you think, little puppy? Is it comfy? I think you like it. All right, that does it. That is our non-toxic bed. So I will just tell you guys, we actually decided not to swap our own pillows out with the pillows that we bought. Um, we're gonna end up upgrading our apartment at some point, so we're definitely gonna keep the pillows and probably put them on a guest bed. We just both really like the pillows that we have right now, um, and I really like like soft, squishy, really deliciously fluffy pillows, and the ones that we got were more like Tempur-Pedic style, so if you like that style, definitely recommend them, um, but for us, the fluffy ones are what we're gonna stick with, for now at least. Um, but otherwise, I am so excited about all of these things that we have. I can't wait for tonight's sleep. The sheets are so soft. The mattress topper is so soft. And I've talked about our comforter before, before or the, um, the duvet cover before, and we got that at West Elm, which I think actually, as I'm filming this, is on sale now. So they do have a bunch of organic cotton things, so if you wanna check that out, you absolutely can. So I'm going to cut back to me sitting, and I'll give you a few more tips for how to detox your bedroom. So actually, quickly before I jump back in, I want to also tell you that I got a new comforter, and I wanted to get one that was sustainably made, so I got a Buffy, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. We're gonna set up the Buffy comforter now. So we were sleeping with a quilt and we didn't have a down comforter or anything like that and we wanted to find something that was a little bit more cozy like I just don't find quilts very cozy I really like comforters and I also didn't want to get something that was down I wanted to get something that was sustainably made and I wanted to get something that was non-toxic and the one that I settled on which I found to be in an Instagram ad funny enough is called Buffy and it's a brand new company that I think launched like maybe a couple months ago and they make a comforter out of recycled materials it's all sustainable and it is so cozy like I find that now I just don't need down. Like I used to be the type of person that loved having down because it was so fluffy and cloud-like and cozy. This comforter is incredible. We are so happy with it. And they also have a free trial. So you can order one. You don't have to pay for it right away. You can test it out. And then if you don't like it, you can send it back and they won't charge you, which I think is really cool. All right, my friends, that pretty much does it. That is my done and beautiful, non-toxic and healthy bedroom. I am so happy with how it is right now. Like I said in the beginning of the video, we are gonna be moving in a couple months. We aren't quite sure. But when we do, we're gonna be upgrading to 
a king bed. So we are gonna be getting a new mattress as well as a new bed frame, as well as new bedroom furniture. So when we do that, I'm definitely gonna be making sure that I am buying, of course, a non-toxic mattress, but also a non-toxic bed frame and other non-toxic furniture items. So when that happens, I will be doing a full reveal. Don't you worry, it's not gonna be happening for a couple months, so you're gonna have to just hold off on that. But if you do have any questions in the meantime, feel free to drop them in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. I also wanna thank Naturepedic and Avocado for gifting me some of the products that I talked about in today's video. I like I said, I'm loving everything so far. So thank you to them and thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Do we like it so far, Chub Chub? It's like a double chin from this angle. Nice. <laughs>